channel today we are going to be reacting to another darman video if you remember last time when i reacted to one they got me eat it i'm talking i was mad boy uh so yeah without further ado let's get into store owner calls cops on black man Okay, let's get into it. Thank you. Bless you. Come again. Hello. Hey, come on in. Welcome. Bag open. Hey, you. I don't allow backpacks in my store. Leave what, it at the you door. Just, you just let the white dude in with a backpack. That was wide open. I'm already starting to get a little mad. I got my bone bros. But didn't the guy just come in with Did you not hear what I said? Leave your backpack back at the door. What are you trying to steal something? Actually, I just came from class. Yeah, right. Come on, let's be honest. You don't go to school. Can't believe that. I can't believe it either, my guy. You know what? Before you judge someone, I should probably get to know them first. Yeah, right. Just maybe. He monitoring my guy. Like, go, bro, go watch the register. Do something. Can I help you? You planning on buying those? What type of man gonna ask, are you planning on buying those? No, I just, no, I'm just scared to walk out the store with them in front of your very old ugly face. I'm pretty sure that's why I'm here. Give them to me and I'll take them up to the register. Now why would I do that? I don't need to give them to you. I can take it up there myself, bro. Take from hard working people like me. Not true. And actually, I've never taken anything from anyone in my life. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, Jimmy, keep an eye on this one. I think he's gonna be trouble. Yes, sir. How you gonna tell him to keep an eye on them? You is worse. You are more worse than my baby cousin. How much do I owe you? Can't you read? It's 389. Here, just put it on my car. DK Leonard's, what is this? It's my company car. Is there a problem? Do I look stupid? I know who DK Leonard's is. They're the only reason I'm in business, and there's no way that you work there. This car's stolen, isn't it? No. How are you going to discriminate so I'm because of a card? A card. A card. A card. Let's keep on. Then I want an alternate form of ID that matches or I go to the cops. How can I provide an ID for a company card? The charity yard's going. I knew it. Call the police. Don't you dare move! I didn't take any- uh, Bro, you were literally monitoring him all the way from the spot where he was buying stuff to here. How do you expect him to steal a charity jar? Thing I swear. I got that with the smirk on. Cameras over here. You're, you're going to jail! Then why don't you just check the footage? Fine. The charity giant! Stop that guy! Get that guy! Let's see black man right there with his hand like I told you I didn't do it. I told you I didn't take anything. I can't believe this. You can't you you're just mad because you weren't able to discriminate a black person. And I'm sorry about our little misunderstanding, but Oh she I accidentally ran away. Got it. Our little misunderstanding, but I, I thought it was you that stole it. 
Well, you shouldn't have judged me before you got to know me. You see? You said that I dropped out of school. But the truth is, I actually graduated from Harvard and finished at the top of my class. <laughs> now, the reason I was wearing a backpack, well, was because I happened to teach there from time to time. You also said that I couldn't afford anything. But the truth is, I actually make a great living doing financial services. I made over $2 million last year alone. So yes, I can easily buy a candy bar and a soda. Yeah. And finally, you said that there's no way someone like me could work for a company like DK Lenders. But the truth is, I not only work there, I also happen to own the company. So you see, I'm Dante, as in Dante King. I call my business DK Lenders. Oh my God, oh gosh, listen, I, I am so sorry how I treated you earlier and you were- He realized he the dude that could put him out of business, so now he's trying to play sweet boy on him. All right, I should have never judged you before I knew you. Shut it's this okay. place down. But I see the way you run your business, and this is why we will no longer be providing any financial assistance. Good luck to you. No, no, wait, please, please! That's him! He's going to kidnap that boy! Put your hands up and step away from the child. child. How about after this, we go get some ice cream? All right, that'd be fun. Excuse me. How do you know this boy? Uh, this is my son, Adam. Why? Your son? Hey, kid, are you okay? Yes. Do you know where your parents are? Bro, I just told right you. I'm right there his dad. He's literally right there at his dad. Do you know where your parents are? Do you know what your parents are? That make me sick. Bro. His dad. I adopted him. Do you have paperwork to prove that? Why would you need now, to show Now, why would I need anything? to prove anything to you? No. You should never judge anyone before you get to know them. Come on, son. Let's go. Sorry, I had to go through that again. I don't Sir? She did what? not just. She did not just. She did not just call. She really just called the cops. Put your hands up and step away from the child. Officer, this child is my son. I adopted him. He's lying. You can tell just by looking at him. Bro. Bro. No. No. She did not just say that. She did not just say that. Bro, I am black. Ain't no telling what other black people probably was thinking. I'm not some you can tell just by looking at them. Just by looking? Well, I wish I could have smacked the look off of your face. Do you have any paperwork to prove that? Yeah. It's in the car. If I can put my arms down now, I can get it for you. Why don't you tell me where it is and I will go get it? It's on the driver's side door panel.
This is unbelievable. Do you have any identification that matches this name? Yeah, it's in my pocket. Can I get that? Yeah, slowly. Sorry for the trouble. You're good to go. Ma'am, this is the boy's legal guardian. Now you both have a nice day. When you adopted him, did you have an option? Excuse me? Did you have a choice with the child's race? Do you need to know? Yes, I did. That's a shame. He could have had a better life being raised by his own kind. Own really? kind? Own kind? Own kind? That's ironic. You see, Adam had a very tough childhood. His mother passed away, and his father was an alcoholic who just couldn't control his anger. Every day, his dad would come home and hit him. Things got so bad that Adam's teacher started noticing his bruises. So one day, the school had Child Protective Services come in and save him from his father. They helped put him up for adoption. That's when I first saw him. He looked so sad, as if no one had ever loved him before. I was nervous because I knew people would judge me as a black man adopting a white boy. But I decided nothing was gonna stop me from loving that child. So you see, I may not be his own kind, but I love that boy like he's my own blood. And I just wanna give him the best life imaginable. <laughs> it's true, he's the best dad. I could ever ask for it. Oh my God. I had no idea you went through all that. I'm so sorry. And you were right. I should have never judged you without getting to know you first. You seem like a really great father. He's lucky to have you. I'm the lucky one. Come on, Adam. Let's go get that ice cream. Yeah. Seeing as why I didn't have that frown changed. Hmm. Alright, now let's watch the last one of the day. Innocent black man gets sent to jail. So just lying down, we're going to focus the attention on the different so you see, Your Honor, it's without question that this defendant did these crimes. No, that's impossible. I wasn't in Philly when it happened. I was in L.A. at a Dodgers game. He's lying. You can tell by looking at him. See, Order. this is another dude that'll be like, you can tell by looking at him. So you could tell that I want to slap you just by looking at me? Hmm? How do so? Hmm? Defendant, do you have any proof of your alibi? Uh, uh, no, we don't have any proof, Your Honor. Okay, well, if there's no evidence to corroborate Robert's story, the court finds the defendant, Robert Williams, guilty on all six counts of assault with a deadly weapon. Wait, what, what? No, no, what? no, no, please, please, not my baby boy. He didn't do it. I know he did it. 
Your Honor, please, you have to believe me. I'm innocent. I put that on my life. You know I didn't do this. You know it. Order. Mr. Williams, that's enough. Not another word. We'll reconvene tomorrow for sentencing. Daddy, no, please. Don't go. Everything's going to be okay, sweetie, I promise. Daddy loves you so much. Hey, boss. What if he's telling the truth? What if we got the wrong guy? Well, you don't think I know what I'm doing? No, no, no I'm not saying that. I'm just wondering if maybe we shouldn't take another look at the facts. I just want a case. <laughs> Who cares you whether he did it or not? Innocent black man in All jail. that's important is I'm one step closer to a promotion. And besides, people like him are all the same. Just a bunch of criminals. Oh. So. Let's get something straight. I'm 11 years old. I'm a criminal. I have a two-year-old cousin who's black. He's a criminal? I have friends down the street that I know. They're criminals. So every black man on this earth is a bunch of criminals. So that means half of the population are criminals. Why people are just so stupid? Please, sir, please. It's never too late to do the right thing. I wasn't in Philly when it happened. I was in LA at a Dodgers game. Yeah, well, I could see my headlines now. DA Graham gives low life criminal life in prison. Keep up the great work. He's innocent. He's innocent. Can you give us a minute? Yeah. What are you talking about? He wasn't in Philly when it happened. His story checks out. Look, I have his credit card statements right here. He was making purchases in Los Angeles while the crime was happening. Okay. So? Well, so if he was in Los Angeles when the crime was happening in Philadelphia, then it couldn't have been him. We have to get these to the defense right away. Have you lost your mind? I mean... I hate this guy. Maybe. I hate him with all my heart. He somebody stole his car. Maybe he gave it to him. I can think of a thousand reasons. But, sir, that's enough. The case is over. I hear you. You hear me? Now what I would suggest that you do. Walk the line so you can get ahead. contacted a local convenience store and I found a photo of him. He bought a hot dog just before the game. It's not possible. Take a look. He couldn't have committed a crime in Philly if he was buying a hot dog in LA. Doesn't even look like him. It's him. I had facial recognition confirm it. Has anyone else seen this? No, why? Good. Let's keep it that way. I don't want you humiliating us or risking this case because you got some pictures that don't even look like that guy. But, sir... Quiet! You want to lose your job? I don't want to hear one more word about this case. Walks by. There. 
That's Robert. He just walked through the background of the video. I, I, I can't believe this. this. This proves his innocence. We have to tell the judge. All arise. Have a seat. We have to tell the judge. We don't have to tell a soul. Everything okay, Mr. Graham? Anything you want to share? No, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Williams, these charges against you are not minor crimes. Federal statute requires a 25-year mandatory minimum sentence. No, please, Your Honor. I'm telling you, I, I didn't do it. You've already been found guilty. So unless the people have anything else. This court hereby sentences a defendant, Robert Williams, to 25 years in a federal prison without the possibility of parole. No, no, no. Come on, man. You can do it. Like the lady said, it's not too late to do the wrong thing. Excuse me? Wait, I, I'm sorry, Your, your, your Honor. He, he didn't do it. May I approach the bench? You may. Your Honor, there is no way that Mr. Williams committed those crimes. You see, I have here a credit card statement showing purchases made by the defendant with his credit card in Los Angeles on the same day that the crime took place in Philadelphia. And I also have a photo of the defendant in a convenience store here in Los Angeles buying a hot dog just mere moments before the crime took place. And I have a video as well, Your Honor, that shows the defendant at Dodger Stadium at the exact time and date the crime was taking place in Philadelphia, over 2,000 miles away. I like to party! <laughs> So you see, Your Honor, Robert Williams could not have committed those crimes. He was telling the truth all along. Is, uh, is all this true, Mr. Grant? Well, uh, why didn't you say anything? Because he was more interested in his promotion than he was in saving an innocent man from jail. I presented him with all of this evidence, Your Honor, and yet he ignored it. Well, what'd you expect? Huh? Okay, so maybe he didn't do this crime, but I'm sure he's done dozens of others. Look at him, he's clearly a criminal. Your Honor! Order! I've heard all I've needed to hear. Mr. Williams, the charges against you have been dropped. You're free to go. <laughs> Bailiff, uncuff him immediately. <laughs> and you, Mr. Graham, oh, obstructing justice and tampering with evidence is a very serious crime. Your Honor. I'm going to see to it that not only do you never practice law again, but that we send the right man to jail this time. You, bailiff, arrest him. No! No, this can't be happening! This case is dismissed. Moral of the 
this story. It is never too late to do the right thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smack that like button, hit my subscribe button, and go subscribe to my boy Darman. He's not just telling stories, he's changing lives. And uh, yeah, if you see Lil Nas, run away because he's a weirdo. Goodbye now.